We are talking about the Arvada real estate market with award-winning real estate agent, Sarah Gallego. Sarah, thanks for being on with us. Thank you for having me, Jen. So Sarah, you have a, an interesting topic that you've brought to the table today. We're gonna to be talking a little bit about the Apex Parks and Rec. Tell me a little bit about that. Sure, so the Apex Parks and Recreation District is the main recreation district in Arvada, and it is one of the best recreation districts in the Front Range. Um, so the the original name was actually the North Jeff, Jeff Code Parks and Recreation District, and it was founded in 1956 after there were several drownings in the area, and the citizens wanted a safe place for the community to swim. So what started out as one single pool has now blossomed into several different facilities, wow. and those include include um, multiple indoor outdoor pools. They include a 40,000 square foot outdoor skate park. There's an indoor ice skating rink. There's tennis ball courts, racquetball courts. There's even pickleball courts. We have a golf course, um, multiple soccer fields, football fields, baseball fields, softball fields. So you name it, we got it for all age ranges. What does that mean for the community? So, so there's the, everything you can think of for the community. Um, there's, you know, every program. There's seniors, teens, kids, everything, um, and and then all over, uh, you know, all all parts of Arvada. Um, and actually, in May of 2016, uh, they passed a 25 million dollar bond for six renovation construction projects uh, for the Apex District, and that includes the main um, the main rec center off of 72 in Ward, they're getting a 7,800 square foot outdoor splash pad. They're renovating their aquatics department as well as their indoor playground. The uh, Long Lake Ranch facility is getting two new uh, baseball softball fields. That's going to be the first five field complex in the district. Uh, Let's Sports Complex is getting four new baseball softball fields. We have Fitzmorris uh, Center that's getting a 8,500 square foot rec center as well as a six lane pool. And then last but not least, we have the Seacrest Center, which is getting a complete replacement. That's going to include a teen center as well as a uh, warm wellness uh, pool. That is absolutely incredible. I can't imagine how excited the residents are of Arvada. How do you think that this will affect real estate in the area and how is the market currently doing today in that area? Sure. So the Apex District has always been something that draws people into the area. It's a very well maintained um, district, and it really, you know, the taxpayers fund it, and it's it's very it's it's well taken care of, and it brings in a lot of people to the community who are, like I was saying before, from from babies all the way to seniors. There's something for everyone. Um, so it's it's really a great great community. That's so exciting, Sarah. Now, I know that you have a listing that you want to talk about today. Is this in the Arvada area? This one's actually in Denver. Um, the address is 2265 South Marion Street. It is a three bedroom, one bath home. Um, it is priced at 475 and it's very close proximity to DU and to Porter Hospital. So great rental, you know, great rental opportunity or anybody who's living in that area. It's a fantastic area to live. Well, Sarah Gallegos, top producing agent with Keller Williams Advantage. Thank you so much for being on with us. We, of course, encourage our viewers to reach out to you if you're interested in that property or any other. Sarah is your girl. Sarah, thanks again for being on with us. Thank you, Jen. And if you have any other questions, reach out to us on the AmericanDreamNetwork.tv. We'll be right back with more of the American Dream.